off the dice and back. The questions are now ready and our guests are restrained. Pay no attention to the mumbling in the background. It'll <laughs> be fine. So pull up a chair? Yeah, yeah. Let, let's talk off the dice. Off the Dice is a time to tabletop production building community through the language of gaming. Bonus round. Okay, now we have a bonus round. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, friend. <laughs> encore, encore. encore. But the bon oh. bonus round is pretty. Um, yeah. It's all about you. Mm -hmm. So now you got to put your thinking cap on. Yeah. Okay. So you remember we talked about those three questions yes. that were asked. Now you've got to mm. uh, come the up next with some person. questions. And we actually already know who's going to be the next person. The okay. Last time we didn't know. Um, so we know the next person. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, okay. I was Obviously. like, mm, no, I'd rather just ask. No, yeah. Yeah. So, ask the question. But, and you're asking us these questions. Yeah. Right. So if you want to we'll know something them. about us, oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> these are just questions to us, but we are going to utilize them and. Because it's going to be really fun. It kind of ties everybody together. You know? Yeah. All right. I like that. Go ham. Question number one. Mm. Number one. Could be random. Yeah, it could be random. Could be it could be something you've always wondered. Moderately serious. It could be do literally humans whatever. Do this? If you could come back or I guess uh, live the full life of someone in history... Uh, I would say a real person. Who would it be, and why? Is Damn, it in that's history, a great or question. I mean, is it all all history? But it has to be like real recorded. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, but it could be somebody that's still alive today too. Uh, or does it have to? Yeah, be... I guess it could be someone who's alive today, but nearing the like... end of their rope. So if you can live the life of somebody in history, yeah, just like... I guess present is fine too. I was just wondering. Trying to establish the parameters yeah. of the question. <laughs> uh, holy cow. That's a um, good question. You got anything, Riza? Because I'm writing stuff down because I don't have anything yet. <laughs> There's some that are current, more current. I mean they're they're they've passed, but um Hmm. I do feel like I know it sounds awful, but I would like to be, I don't know if anybody specifically, but somewhere we're at, maybe in the 1800s with the, the potato famine and, and <laughs> you want to be a <laughs> potato <laughs> in a sense, in a sense, if I could be a fly on a wall or a potato in a basket, um, back in, you know, just if I could be one of the horses that didn't get turned into glue, I'd be yes. so into it. I mean, really think about that. Think about there's so much in like unrecorded history mm -hmm. that is just we fill in the blanks. Mm. And I think that was one where we really don't know what was really going on mm -hmm. unless you were actually there. Mm, true. And I think those are the kind of places that I would like to be um, part of. I don't know if it'd be a certain person or just maybe just somebody that was there. Mm. Uh, because I have a real... When it comes to history, I feel like there's so many gaps. Yeah. And history is always written by the victor. Yeah. Right? So you really don't know what really went on there. All you know is, like, the one-sided opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think another one would be um, the beginnings of United States slavery. Just mm -hmm. to see what really that, happened. Because we have mm -hmm. sides and opinions, but none of it was really recorded. Mm -hmm. So you don't really know. Um, hmm, it's kind of like Congress Day. <laughs> yeah, it, exactly. And I, it, I, it really is. So I think it would be more like that. I don't know if it would be a specific person. If it would be a specific person, I would probably like to live the life of Chris Cornell. But that's just hmm. – that's a weird one, I know. But that's just – he was always one of my hmm. – he wasn't that much older than me either. Just to see what he went through, what was really Whoa. going on. Hmm. I think Whoa. that's my curiosity okay. is not like – so you're more like the, you want to know more history, the backstory. Well, I want to know yeah. because everybody, you can read it or get somebody's opinion. But if somebody puts it down on a piece of paper in a history book, it's still opinionated. Mm -hmm. Right. There's still stuff that was left out or stuff that was filled in. Yeah. And and I feel like a lot of people that were present during these times were kind of like, no, that's not what really happened. You know? So yeah. I think that would be mine. What about you? I would 
probably though great question they're probably yeah this is a damn good question by the way we i'm not gonna throw patrick under the like thing but you were asking pokemon and she's acting some like who would you be in history i was like dude um well you did hear she's a phd student yeah, for her, right? yeah, I mean, let's I guess. be real oh, only super yeah. <laughs> I actually um, don't do that much work to be considered a PhD student. I'm like the the slacker PhD student. Yeah, like, but that's a PhD hey. nonetheless. <laughs> um, I think it would be. They were very interesting, uh, clan, but I do really enjoy listening to their live shows with the Rat Pack. So I'd probably choose either someone in that audience or some, but one of oh. those guys, even though they didn't make a lot of great decisions in life and they were kind of always just drunk, but it's <laughs> just like, what do you mean? That sounds like a great, yeah. <laughs> but if you've if, seriously, yeah, people who got together and partied together invented so much of mm -hmm. what our planet uses right yeah. now. Yeah. So, so I would probably, um, cause I'm very partial to Sammy Davis Jr. Um, I'd probably be in that realm, but I know they were, they, the Rat Pack had issues, but I really did like all that stuff. That would probably be one of those things. The ultimate boy band. They were the ultimate boy band, okay? For real. That, they I mean, were, realistically. there's the core three, and then there's always like a fourth or fifth who is just kind of yeah, like, I mean, the, but that's, sometimes there. But yeah, because I really liked, if you ever listened to a live recording of one of their shows, it was just so goofy and personable and just like, I, it was very dated sometimes, but yeah, probably that. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. I know. Now, now I'm yeah. like going. I know. Like three other people. I know. I'm just like, <laughs> right oh, now, wow. you know, that, now it's the mythological creatures one. That is like, a great mm. question. Yeah, that was really that good. That mythological one, that would get me. I, w I don't know what I would. Right? I don't just know. Like, oh. That and, one kills And me. making the world a better place. I'm like, but I want to make it a worse place. Yeah. <laughs> Which might make it better. Yeah. For you. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's a matter of opinion, Let's perspective. Hear. Half goat, half person. Okay. Let's go. Run around. Roll the pass. Okay, sorry. Okay, second question. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, in Greek mythology, I guess also Roman mythology, you have the gods of something. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Hera, the goddess of, like, you know, what is it? Motherhood and stuff. And yeah. Then <laughs> I'm the goddess of stuff. Stuff yeah. of stuff. Yeah. And Ares, god of war. Yeah. If you could be the god or goddess of something, what would it be? Oh rock and roll <laughs> no i mean okay. really like music probably okay. that's i think it would be music okay um yeah definitely that would be that's a no-brainer okay god of music spaghetti <laughs> the goddess of spaghetti okay as in like if someone puts hot dogs in their spaghetti you come down and like curse them no because all spaghetti is good because spaghetti. that's so filipino spaghetti basically <laughs> So when would so they pray to you? When they pray to you? When y'all eat spaghetti, <laughs> come on. You're just like, thank, thank you. you. Goddess rise right, up for this God, Yeah, <laughs> goddess rise up for giving us this spaghetti. And and it's just like, just or I'll be the goddess of pasta. We'll mm, do that. Okay. That way I can just, just. Could be any. any yeah. Just could like, be any pasta. Any yeah. pasta. Yeah, there's like, today we were blessed with pesto. And so, you know, like <laughs> on our. Pasta. Okay. I'd be Rise of the Goddess uh, pasta. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is something. That's a very me answer. So, okay. That's, that's, that's All good. Right. Okay. It's uh, question three. Okay. Question three. Um, if you could lose, uh, oh, no, you have to lose one of your senses. What oh, would it be? Oh. Okay. That one's rough for me. Because I, Okay. Rise, let's go for it. Because I don't, I don't know what I could do. Um, smell. Would be smell. But then you can't taste. You would lose your taste. Oh That's no, it's the other way around. It's taste then, because you can still smell it. That's why I always flip them around. But taste because you can smell it, and then you can just eat it. Also, you can just eat actual like garbage, and then just like you're good. Or you can just eat uh beets and celery and be okay. I hate beets and celery. Ooh dirt and then fiber okay so you keep sight hearing smell and touch yes because taste you can still at least smell because if you take away smell you can't taste right that's what it was yeah i'd be okay with 
I think I'd go in that direction also. Yeah. Uh, because I have. A, I'm sorry. That's the smartest way to go. That, that is. I, I'm, I'm on that train. Uh, I was going to say smell first, but then I was like, my yeah. sense of smell is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I've actually, it's, I feel like it's saved my life a couple times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like something doesn't smell right. And I go and I was like, oh, those wires are on fire. Oh, but, you mm -hmm. know, I was like, yeah, you didn't hear it. You didn't see it, but you could smell it. So I think, I don't think I can get rid of that one. Taste. I'm not a foodie of any sort. Um, and there are some times where I only eat just to sustain myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I enjoy good food. So I, it would probably have to be that. Um, yeah. Okay. Question 3B. Just because. Okay. 3B. Because, I, yeah. Okay. If you had to lose sight or hearing. See, this is why. I would, I, mine would probably be sight. I'd have to because I then I couldn't listen to rock and roll. <laughs> no, you it's like even listen to your own. No music. music. I think music would. I mean, I would lose would hearing. Help. I I would have to lose, lose sight because I, I feel after a while you could sense stuff around and hear and smell, so you could still echolocate in a sense. Mm, Not really. So you're saying but you I turn think, into a dolphin? You could, but I think. <laughs> I'm just picturing. No, no, it's a dolphin, but with his hair and, uh, and his yeah, his glasses. He's just like, and has a little, yeah, a little like tough. Yeah, I'm not burns. bumping into anything no. as I walk through. I I would choose uh, to have sight over hearing because I can still look at the world around me, but I could still feel the music. Yeah, I just, because I'd if you, you can turn it up and you can feel, yeah, you can feel it. But I just and that's couldn't. actually a, one of my favorite feelings is just the music. Like you can literally just feel it going. But not through. out of a boombox because you gotta have yeah those bass. one arm boombox <laughs> assholes on the beach bass. with those sandals. I know ugh, those sandals especially disgusting. That's a good yeah. I like the three B. I think that's more difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, this or that. Yeah, You're like oh no. That's an ultimatum. Yep. <laughs> yep. Those are not good. Those are great questions. So yeah. we will be using those Perfect. Um, Thank you. Thank in you. our next recording on our next victim <laughs> guest slash guest. Yeah. Guest slash guest. Guest slash mm -hmm. victim. <laughs> So, no, thank you so much. So, thank that you. will conclude our bonus round. Yeah. So, and thanks so for having that discussion done with us. We're rings, y'all. We are actually done. So, okay, thank you. Thanks again. Thank for you guys coming. for sticking around for that sweet, sweet bonus. Sweet, sweet bonus, bonus round. round. But we will see you next time, everyone, on our next episode of Off, Off the Dice. Mm -hmm. Woo. Thank you, Risa. Peace thank out. you, Scooter. Thank you, thank Lucy. You. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye bye. Off the Dice is a time to tabletop production, building community through the language of gaming. Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm not. I like axes. And I'm Zarius. <laughs> <laughs> and we are Rad Theater, a D&D live play podcast. And by the way, theater is spelled the correct way. T-H-R-E-A-T-R-E. B-I-C-T-H. <laughs> 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 T-H-E-A-T-R-E. And don't forget to hashtag tell your friends.